Hello, what's up and what's happening? Welcome back to another Miles Dawkins 24-7 production. Today, we have RG3 through the years, kicking things off in NCAA football 2009, where he comes in at 76 overall with 86 speed, 90 agility, 88 acceleration, 89 throw power, and 80 throw accuracy. Now, for his freshman numbers for his 2008 college football season, they look like this. He played in 12 games, completed 100. And 60 passes on 267 attempts, giving him a percentage of 59.9. He threw for 2,091 yards, averaging 7.8 yards per catch, 15 TDs, and 3 INTs. So, RG3 was definitely somebody that could wow you with his legs, but he also was somebody that protected the football, especially in college. All of his college years, the interception numbers were pretty, pretty low, man. Were pretty, pretty low. And then, it's time for his sophomore campaign, and there's some high hopes, man. He showed some flashes his freshman year. People are thinking about some big things for RG3 and the Baylor Bears for his sophomore season. But first, before we get into that, let's look at his numbers for NCAA Football 10. 89 overall, 91 speed, 90 agility, 93 acceleration, 86 throw power, and 86 throw accuracy. Now, in the third week of the 2009 college football season, RG3 and the Baylor Bears are taking on Northwestern. And on the first drive, they're going for it on fourth down and he ends up blowing out his knee and the season is basically over but before that he actually did play in three games like I mentioned he got hurt in week three and in those two and a quarter games if you will he completed 45 passes on 69 attempts giving him a completion percentage of 65.2 he also threw for 481 yards averaging 70 yards per attempt four TDs and zero INT. So again, protecting the football, being an athlete. Now everybody had questions about this team moving forward. What kind of you know quarterback is he? Is he just a track star trying to play quarterback, or is he a quarterback with track speed? Now in NCAA 11, they have him all the way up at 92 overall with 84 speed, which I think is pretty low. And now I do understand it. He did just come off of a torn ACL, but I mean 84 speed for somebody who runs track, that's kind of iffy if you ask me. 92 agility. 99 acceleration so I guess it kind of balances out right there but still 84 speed is a tad bit low 92 throw power 85 throw accuracy now his numbers for the 2010 season which would be his sophomore year played in 13 games completed 304 passes on 454 attempts for a completion percentage of 67 doing his thing 3,501 yards, also averaged 7.7 .7 yards per catch or per recept or per pass, per pass, excuse me, per pass, 22 TDs and 8 INTs. Moving on to NCAA 12, 95 overall. We know this is the year that he wins the Heisman. He does big things, man. 95 overall with 84 speed, 92 agility, 99 acceleration, 91 throw power, 90 throw accuracy. Definitely doing his thing. His numbers look like this. 291 completions on 402 attempts, giving him a completion percentage of 72.4. So it, it it really confused me when people were saying that he wasn't accurate coming out. Now, and that was a lot of people that said RG3 shouldn't be the number one pick. It should definitely be Andrew Luck. But to say that he's not accurate, to me, was just absolutely bananas. 72.4 completion percentage, 37, TD, 37 TDs, 6 INTs, 4,293 yards through the air. His numbers on the ground for his career, for his career, 2,254 yards, averaging 4.3 yards per carry, 33 TDs on the ground. For his whole career, man. His best year was his freshman year when he ran for 843 yards. His last season, he ran for 699 yards and he had 10 TDs. Now, when we add up all of his overalls, 88 overall is his average for NCAA football. And of course, he was on the cover of NCAA 13. And you could, of course, do the Heisman Challenge with him, with Barry Sanders. It's a pretty dope game mode, man. Now, Madden 13, he is a rookie, and he's 83 overall with 93 speed, 95 throw power, 80 short accuracy, 85 medium accuracy, 88 deep accuracy. So as a as a rookie. I mean, you couldn't go wrong, man. You couldn't go wrong. And then, of course, man, the year that he had for Washington that season, pretty solid numbers. It says that he started 15 games. So, I'm, he, I, yeah, I believe he got injured. And Kirk, I'm, I want to say Kirk Cousins started a game. I, I do believe that Kirk Cousins started a game. Now, anyways, man, he was 9-6 as a starter. He completed 258 passes 
on 3,000, oh, 3,000, for 393 yards, excuse me, 20 TDs, and just five INTs. That ratio led the league. We're not talking about Drew Brees or Aaron Rodgers. Or, or 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 Mighty Ice or Tom Brady or Peyton Manning who was just now playing for the Broncos. We're talking about a rookie quarterback that was labeled as somebody that was not accurate. You know what I mean? And the fact that he had the number one ratio TD to interceptions in the league for his rookie season, pretty impressive. And he also ran for uh 815 yards on 120 carries, and he had 7 TDs and a league-high 6.8 yards per rushing attempt. So that right there, that great season, got him to 89 overall, but we all know what happened in the playoff game. He really messed up his knee. Now, he messes up during, he messed his knee up during the season as well. He wanted to play in the playoff game. Hey, kudos to him. He's the quarterback. Allow him to do that. I don't think anybody really saw a problem with him playing in that playoff game. But then during the offseason with this campaign, I believe it was with Gatorade, I believe. Maybe it was Under Armour. I can't literally remember. But trying to get RG3 back. He had a goal of coming back before training camp and stuff like that. And it's like, dude, you really don't have to do that. Yes, Adrian Peterson, who got hurt playing Washington, tore up his knee, came back for week one. But, but he wasn't trying to get back for the preseason. And I think that was RG3's downfall. The fact that he was trying so hard to get back so soon instead of really thinking long term what's the best thing for the Redskins what's the best thing for his career and stuff like that because I do think even though he was trying to say he was doing what was best for the team he's the quarterback he should be out there I do think that it was more of a selfish thing for him to do than a team oriented thing for him to do in my opinion now for the Madden 25 season his numbers for that year as we go back just a little bit he was 3 and 10 as a starter completed 60.1 percent of his passes he had 16 TDs and then he had 12 INTs his numbers for this season which would have been 2014 four TDs and then six interceptions he went two and five as a starter he started seven games completed 68.7 percent of his passes which is pretty high but those interceptions the td ratio was pretty pretty pathetic if you ask me now madden 16 he is madden yeah madden 16 78 overall with 90 speed 92 throw power 84 short accuracy 70 medium accuracy and then 65 for his deep accuracy and this was basically the year where they shut him down completely as i look at the notes that i took he did not he might have played in a game but his stats are nowhere to be found his stats are nowhere to be found so i'm guessing that this is the year where he dislocated his ankle very very early in the first game i want to say and then it was Kirk cousins from then on out so again 78 overall for rg3 he was still fun to play with he was still very very fun to play with and it was fun to do franchise mode try to get him on your team and try to get the rookie RG3, man. So to me, RG3 is kind of like Derrick Rose in the sense that he was great, even though he was a rookie and he didn't win, like, you know, the league MVP. He was still the best offensive rookie, you know, that season. We just never got to see that same RG3. And it reminds me a lot of Derrick Rose because we're never going to see Derrick Rose as the MVP Derrick Rose for that season that he did his thing and basically just put the Bulls on his back, took him all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals. Now, moving on to Madden 17, where he's 73 overall. 85 speed, 92 throw power, 81 short accuracy, 75 medium accuracy, and a 73 deep accuracy rating. His numbers for the Cleveland Browns. He started in five games, only played in five games, because of course he got hurt. I believe he got hurt week one. Week one, maybe week two. I can't really remember. Week one or week two is when he got hurt, I believe. He went one and four as a starter, completed 59.2% of his passes for 886 yards, two TDs, and three interceptions. Now, when we add up all of his overalls from all the Maddens that he has been in so far, we get 81 overall. Now, of course, that could go up. It could, it could go down depending on his play and how EA Sports sees his overall. Now, when we look at his career numbers so far, 42 TDs and 26 INTs and 42 and 40 as a starter. That's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give the video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I will see you guys pretty, pretty soon, probably with a basketball one. I don't know. We're going to find out, man. Um, but, of course, got a long list of players that I want to knock out. So, I'm going to try to get that done as soon as possible. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name is Miles Darkest 24-7. I'll see you guys next time. I hope the rest of your day is the best skill day. And I'm out. Peace. Awesome.